welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I've got some really cool releases to share with you from Colores to Carol. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, hey, go ahead and subscribe. I upload new live watching videos every week. So like I said, I have quite a few releases to share with you from Colores to Carol. The first of which is her spring 2021 collection. It's a collection of five gorgeous glitter crellies that are inspired by Easter and a really cool topper. I also have some polishes to share with you from different collaborations that Colores de Carol is participating in this month. That includes polishes from the Motherland Collab, the Charity Box, Project Artistry, and Polish Gamers. All of those different collaborations have varying start and end dates, so I will leave that information for you in the description box, and I'll try to put a little blurb about it with my swatch video. Going back to the Spring 2021 collection for just a second, each of those polishes can be purchased for $11 individually, or you can buy them as a six-piece collection for $60. And did I mention they already released? Because they have. They came out this past week, so since they're already posted on the Colores de Carol site, I will link each polish in the description box. And I'll link all of the websites for the collaboration polishes below too. All right, let's go ahead and get into the swatches. Colorista Carol was so kind and is offering you guys a 10% code. If you enter Ray, R-A-E at checkout, you can get 10% off anything on the Colorista Carol site. All right, so first off, we're starting with Cottontail Confetti. Such a cute name. This one's described as being a white curly base with neon green, neon yellow, black, hot orange, neon blue, neon pink, and magenta glitters with hollow dust. This retails for $11, as do all of the polishes in this spring collection. Going in with the first coat on this one, it was a bit sheer on the first coat. It is a curly. Um, but I went in for a second coat and it started to build up really beautifully. And when I went in for the third coat, I got that gorgeous white color we see in the bottle. As you can see, tons of glitters come out with all of these. I didn't have to shake the bottle up or leave it upside down. They just came out on their own, which is awesome. <laughs> So here's what three coats looks like. Because of all the glitters in here, it does dry quite textured. So on top of all of these, I did use a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat. Here's the full hand swatch. Oh, such a playful mix of glitters. And Colores de Carol actually did a white glitter curly for their March polish pickup, Lady Gouldian, which is on the left. So I wanted to compare it to Cotton Tail Confetti from their Spring 2021 collection. As you can see, Lady Gouldian has more of a blue toned white base, where Cotton Tail Confetti's base is a little bit more of a warm toned white. Um, the glitters in Cotton Tail Confetti are much more primary with that yellow, green, purple, um, whereas the Lady Gouldian glitters are more of a pastel mix. Also, Cotton Tail Confetti has hollow dust, where um, Lady Gouldian has more purple micro glitters. Pictured are three coats of Cotton Tail Confetti with a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat. Next up, we have Where My Peeps At. <laughs> this one's described as being a dusty mauve purple curly with peach neon yellow glitters and hollow dust. It retails for $11. Um, love the contrast between that gorgeous grapey purple base and the green, and it looks like yellow. I feel like I can see yellow and green glitters in here. Um, very fun, super beautiful. Out of the box, I thought this was gonna be my favorite from the collection. Um, it actually isn't, I put that one at the end, um, but golly, it's really fun. <laughs> On the first coat here, this one had pretty great opacity. Um, I think that deep base color really helped cover up that nail line a bit. As you can see, these all do dry down very flat, so you will want a glossy top coat on top to smooth out the glitters and to, you know, help gloss it up. <laughs> I did get full opacity, I felt like, in two coats with this one, but I wanted a richer purple base like what we see in the bottle, so I added a third coat and I was very happy with how it looked in three. Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch, and I am just in love with this base color. It is so playful, and I think it's something you could wear in the spring or in the fall. Pictured are three coats of Where My Peeps At with a glitter grabber and a glossy top coat. Up next is Cheap Cheap. 
that name. This was described as being a yellowish green Crelly with matte neon blue and matte aqua marine glitters, as well as hollow dust. And of course it retails for $11. So I'm not a big fan of greens, um, but this one is super, super cute. I love that it has that yellowish undertone. It's bright, it's fun, and it gives me total spring vibes. On the first coat, it is quite sheer, but the formula, oh my goodness, was so easy to work with. Sometimes yellows can be kind of tricky, um, but not this one. This one was cake. <laughs> I also really love the square glitters in here. I just think they are adorable. I did reach full opacity in three coats. Again, didn't have to shake up the bottle to get those glitters out or leave it upside down. All of the glitters came out easy with all of these Crellies. Pictured are three coats of Cheap Cheap with a glitter grabber and a glossy top coat. Up next, we have Carrot Patch, another adorable name. This one's described as being a peachy orange curly with neon green, light blue glitters, and hollow dust. And it retails for $11 too. Oh my goodness, I wish that peaches looked better on me. I love peach polishes, but they just look really rough on me. <laughs> this one certainly pulls more nude on my medium tone skin, but if you've got um, skin that's lighter in tone or deeper in tone, I think it would give you a nice nude pop on your nails. On the first coat, this one was really smooth and buttery. I love the contrast between that peachy base and the neon green glitters, very fun. I got full opacity in three coats and check out all the glitters that came out. Aren't they so playful? So here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch and it totally reminds me of a carrot. Carolina hit the nail on the head with that polish name. <laughs> Pictured are three coats of Carrot Patch with a glitter grabber and a glossy top coat. And my favorite Crelly in this collection is one cute chick. This one's described as being a turquoise Crelly with hollow dust and neon pink glitters, and it retails for $11 too. Oh my goodness, love this polish. It is fun in a bottle. <laughs> I love the matte pink glitters. I love the turquoise base. It's just so bright and fun. And this is what I needed on my nails after a winter of neutral, dusty winter polishes. Formula for this one was perfect. It was quite sheer on that first coat, built up nicely in two, and then to full opacity on three. I got like an accidental yellow glitter in here and I thought it was really fun. <laughs> I didn't end up keeping it though. So as you can see on the third coat, there we go. It's fully opaque, so cute. Looking at it, I'm kind of getting some Blue's Clues vibes here, like blue and magenta. <laughs> Maybe it's because I've been swatching too much April PPU and I've got 90s on the brain. I don't know, I don't know. But super fun polish either way. Pictured are three coats of one cute chick with a glitter grabber and a glossy top coat. And the final polish in the Spring 2021 collection is Hatch Me If You Can. This is a glitter topper with a clear base and black matte glitters in various shapes and sizes, and it retails for $11. So this one doesn't look like much in the bottle. It's a clear base. It's got matte black glitters. Looks, you know, kind of simple in the bottle, but so transformative on the nails. I really liked this one. So I'm swatching it over three colors here, a sheer white, a red, and a periwinkle, and I will leave all those base colors linked in the description box in case you like them. I just kind of wanted to give you some different feels of what it could look like over different colors. So here's what it looks like over the white. I love the different sized glitters in here. It gives me like Oreo cookies and cream vibes. 
I thought it looked beautiful over the red as well. I love that this is a topper that isn't exclusive to one season. It doesn't give you just one kind of look. I feel like you could wear this over any color, um, especially lighter colors. I believe what Carolina was going for with this was she wanted it to look kind of like a speckled egg and I think she totally hit the nail on the head. So here's what they all look like up close. Ooh, the red kind of makes me think of like ladybugs or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I like it almost over every color. I think it looks really cute over anything. Um, and I swatch it over one more color. This is over like a blue toned pink and I just thought it was adorable. Pictured is one coat of Hatch Me If You Can with a glitter grabber and a glossy top coat. Moving on to her collaboration polishes, this is the March Charity Box. It is the Lady with the Lamp. The theme this month was Strong Women, and this one was inspired by Florence Nightingale. This polish retails for $12.50, and there is no cap. It's described as being a super light gray with Aurora Shimmer, Gold Dust, and Iridescent Chameleon Flakes. Ooh, this polish is pretty. I was not expecting this. I thought it was just gonna be a white with some hollow in there with the shimmer, the gold dust, um, the chameleon flakes. There's a lot going on in here. It's really beautiful. Super easy to apply. Um, I will say it is just slightly gray, but I would say it's maybe like a white that leans gray. Um, I don't know. It did look pretty white to me when it was built up in three coats, but it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. At some angle, some of those gold dust and the flakes kind of have a rose gold hue. So it looks like there's gold and rose gold. It's just very pretty. Here's what it looks like on the full hand. Yeah, I really, really am digging this polish. It's just such a clean look. Perfect for spring. Pictured are three coats of the lady with the lamp with a glossy top coat. Next, for Project Artistry, Calorista Carol brings us Sunset Escape. This one retails for $12.50 and has a 100 bottle cap. It's described as being a light pastel yellow curly with multi-chrome shimmer, hollow dust, and iridescent chameleon flakes. So I thought this one was a white too, but once I got it on the nail, I realized it was a white with a couple drops of yellow. <laughs> The shimmer and the flakes in here are super subtle. Um, from far away, it does just look like a soft pastel yellow, but once you get the nails up close, you can see that beautiful subtle shimmer and the flakes. This one was just a tad tricky to work with. I got a little bit of patchiness in the first and second coats, but once I added the third coat, I got full opacity and everything was beautiful. So you can kind of see here that the shimmer in here is quite subtle and the flakes as well, but very, very pretty. Yeah, this one definitely gives you a gorgeous, clean look. Another one that's great for spring, still a bit sheer on three coats. Pictured are three coats of Sunset Escape with a glossy top coat. This month for the Motherland collab, Calorista Carol brings us Adventure in Paradise. This one retails for $12.50 and has a 100 bottle cap. It's described as being a deep purple base with a multi-chrome shift, Aurora shimmer, and iridescent chameleon flakes. Ah, this one is a really pretty polish. Um, in the bottle here, you can kind of see it's purple and it shifts to like a blue. Oh, very, very pretty. And then you can also see when you look up close that gorgeous Aurora pinky shimmer. Um, and then of course the flakes just shifting, shifting, shifting. <laughs> On the first coat, this one had such a beautiful formula. It's more of a jelly leaning polish, um, but everything went on super smooth, very easy to work with. On the second coat, I started to get a deeper color, but I could still see some nail line, so I went in for a third and got almost full opacity and tons of that shimmer.
Here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch and check out that Aurora shimmer. It just glows in this polish. Ah, oh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Pictured our three coats of Adventure in Paradise with a glossy top coat. And the final polish I have to share with you today is for the Polish Gamers Box. This month's theme is Retro Games Remastered, so Caloris to Carol brings us a brave prince inspired by the video game or computer game, Prince of Persia. This polish retails for $12.50 and has a cap of 100 bottles. It's described as being a deep orchid pink crelly with multi-chrome shimmer and iridescent chameleon flakes. So I actually wore this polish for a couple days and I really enjoyed it. I think it's my favorite polish from all of the collaboration polishes. The formula is incredible. It's super smooth and easy to work with um, and had great opacity on the first coat. I did end up going in for a second and then a third to fully build up that color to the beautiful bright pink I could see in the bottle and I did reach full opacity. The shimmer in here is a little bit on the subtle side as well are the flakes. You can see them up close, but from far away, um, what you really see is that gorgeous bright orchid pink. Oh, such a fun color. Yeah, and definitely fitting for the season we're in. Perfect for spring, perfect for summer. Pictured are three coats of a brave prince with a glossy top coat. Gosh, these polishes are getting me really excited for spring to be here. Let me know in the comments which of these were your favorite and if you plan to pick any of them up. While you're here, check out some of my recent videos. Earlier this week, I live swatched and reviewed some polishes that will be available for this month's Hella Handmade Creations. I also live swatched and reviewed the March Phantom Flakies box with the theme, What We Do in the Shadows. And I shared a giant, giant <laughs> nail polish haul video. I will link all those videos in the description box as well as the information for all of the polishes I shared with you today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!